Hello everyone, welcome to the Lab Informants. This is a platform that helps you to understand about your health condition and mainly the role of laboratory in management and diagnosis of your health conditions. It's your presenter, Mr. Eric Masiga, and today we are going to discuss with you about the urinary tract infections, commonly abbreviated as UTI. In our today's presentation, we will help you understand what is a urinary tract infection or a UTI, what causes a UTI, what are the types of UTI, what are the signs and symptoms of a UTI, the laboratory diagnosis, and mainly the role of laboratory in diagnosis and management of UTIs. We will also help you understand the risk factors for UTI and as well as how you can prevent a UTI. Well, by definition, a UTI or a urinary tract infection is an infection that occurs in one or more parts of the urinary system. And the urinary system is composed of kidneys, ureters, bladder, and then urethra. What causes UTI? UTIs are usually caused by bacteria from fecal matter entering the urinary tract. The bacteria enter through the tube that carries the urine out of the body, and this tube is called urethra. In women, they have a, a short urethra than men. Have you ever wondered why women are more prone to UTIs than men? The reason is women have a short urethra than men and this means bacteria are more likely to reach the bladder for women or kidneys is of a woman and cause infection easily than in men. UTIs majorly present itself in three different forms and these are pyelonephritis which is the infection of the kidneys, cystitis an infection of the bladder and urethritis which is the infection of the urethra. Pyelonephritis or you take infection of the kidney can present in itself with uh, symptoms such as uh, frequent and painful urination, back, side, under the ribs, or groin pain, chills and high fever, and in some cases, nausea and vomiting. Some of the signs and symptoms of UTI to the bladder, which is cystitis, it can be or pain or burning while urinating, frequent urination, a feeling the need to urinate despite having an empty bladder, bloody urine, and pressure or cramping in the groin or lower abdomen. Euthritis, which is a UTI to the urethra, can present itself with some symptoms or signs like urethral discharge, penile itching or tingling, and dysuria, which is difficult in urination. What are the risk factors for UTI? Just to mention, being sexually active, unprotected annual sex, your age, gender, having a history of previous UTI, poor hygiene, catheterization, and pregnancy are major risk factors for UTI. Laboratory diagnosis of UTI. UTIs can be diagnosed by analyzing a patient's urine sample, and the most common tests that are done to detect UTI are a urine routine analysis or a urinalysis, which looks for evidence of infection such as bacteria and white blood cells. Second, a urine microscopy, culture and sensitivity. This test detects and identifies specific bacteria and yeast in a patient's urine that may be causing a UTI. Urine culture and sensitivity can also help a doctor to determine the best antibiotic for treating a UTI. Thirdly, a doctor may also order a complete blood count to evaluate a patient's sepsis, that is, to evaluate for the bacteria in blood, which is termed as sepsis or a severe reaction to infection. Blood urea nitrogen or BUN creatinine electrolytes and lactate. A kidney function test can also be ordered to evaluate the health of your kidneys and urodynamic testing are tests that show how well your bladder and sphincters and the urethra are storing and releasing urine. In conclusion, how is UTI prevented? Well, you can put these factors into place. Empty your bladder soon after the intercourse. Drink plenty of warm water. When you go to the loo, wipe from front to back. Explore your bath control options, preferably consult your doctor. Avoid potentially irritating feminine products such as deodorant sprays, doches, scented powders, scented pads, or tampons in the genital area. Try taking probiotics. Check with your doctor and practice good hygiene. I am certain that takeaways from this channel furthers and deepens your thinking and equips you to stay on top of your health. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.